what's up guys we are still updating you what is going on what is trending in nigeria greetings to you wherever you are so i have a quick update to share with you uh, still on the issue of uh, the hide and seek game between the the former governor of kogi state i'm talking about yaya bello and efcc of course we already know that today being the 18th of april uh yaya bello was supposed to be a reign okay over the uh, alleged corruption case uh, level against him by the efcc all right uh, we all remember what happened yesterday 17th of april 2024 uh the latest update i have for you is that the attorney general of the federation and also minister of justice prince latif fabemi has called on yahaya bello to follow the part of decency and submit himself for probe. So, um, as we already know, uh, Yaya Bello is being wanted by the EFCC over alleged corruption practices while in office as governor of Kogi State. All right, and also in the last 24 hours, there have been uh, dramas and hide and seek game between uh, the EFCC and uh, Yahaya Bello uh, over the move to arrest him, okay, in his Abuja house. So according to Attorney General of Federation, in a statement he personally signed today, being Thursday, that EFCC is empowered by law to invite any Nigerian for interrogation. He also described the action of the uh, incumbent governor of Kogi State, Ahmed uh, Ododo, who uses immunity to prevent Bello's arrest yesterday, Wednesday, as disquieting, adding that embarking on a temporizing self-help and escapism that can only put Nigeria in a bad light before the rest of the world is not the way to go. Of course, yes. According to him, he stands for the rule of law and will ensure no right of any Nigerian is stamped upon. All right, let me quickly give you the statement of uh, the Attorney General of uh, Federation. That is, in quote, the bizarre drama confronting the EFCC, in the course of its effort to perform its statutory duty, has come to my notice. As a matter of very grave concern, it is now beyond doubt that the EFCC is given power by the law to invite any persons of interest to interact with them in the course of their investigation into any matter, regardless of status. Therefore, the least that we can all do when invited is not to put any obstruction in the way of EFCC but to honorably answer their invitation. A situation where public officials who are themselves subject of protection by law enforcement agents will set up a, uh, a stratagem of obstruction to the civil and commendable effort of the EFCC to perform its duty is to say the least insufferably disquieting a flight from the law does not resolve issues at stake but only exacerbates it i state unequivocally that i stand for the rule of law and will promptly call efcc and indeed any other agency to order when there is indication of any transgression of the fundamental right of any nigerian by any of the agencies but i also tenaciously Hold the view that institutions of state should be allowed to function effectively and efficiently. Nigeria has a vibrant judicial system that is capable of protecting anyone who follows the rule of law in seeking protection. I therefore encourage anyone who has been invited by the EFCC or any other agency to immediately toe the part of decency and civility by honoring such invitation instead of embarking on a temporizing self-help and escapism that can only put our country in bad light before the rest of the world. All right, guys, so that was the statement from the Attorney General of uh, the Federation to Yaya Bello, okay? We all saw the drama uh, yesterday, what happened in Abuja. He was weeks away by the governor to Lokoja. All right, so my own contribution here is simple. If Yaya Bello knows that there is nothing 
or there is no cockroach in his cupboard, let him come out, submit himself for probe. It is simple as that. He's not the first person, the first, let me tag him as a VIP, the first VIP that has been probed by the EFCC. What is he hiding when others are being accused of hundreds of billions, trillions? What about MFLA? He faced his own uh, action. Of course, the matter is still there. MFLA has been granted bail. Based, it is a bailable offense. There are some probes that are bailable offense. If you are found guilty, of course, you serve the, the term, you understand. That is simple. Why, why, why is he running elder skelter looking for soft landing where there is none? Maybe he feels when he visited Tenebo during the Ramadan that uh, is, he will have soft landing. No, or he felt when he visited Tenebo in the state house that the matter will die like that. Tinubu is a politician. If you are not political relevant to Tinubu ahead of 2027, Tinubu have no interest in you. Take a, a, a typical example. What happened to Ganduje? Yes. What happened to national chairman of APC? Tinubu have seen that in Kanu State, Ganduje is not relevant. He is not relevant ahead of his political ambition in 2027. That is why Tinubu have made it as in, as in uh, shown his own interest in the likes of Kwon So Now, Kwon have uh, uh, succeeded in taking over the leadership in Kano State because he trusts that Kwon will deliver. There are some factions in NNPP that wants to come back to APC, but they will not come back to APC because of Ganduje. So Ganduja should not think that is it's simple. So Yaya Bello, of course, we know that according to Fortinibu, Yaya Bello is not relevant ahead of his ambition in 2027. So you don't expect Tinibu to start, you know, interfering in issues like this. If Tinibu would have done such, it would have been in the case of Ganduja. If you are not relevant for Tinibu ahead of 2027, there is nothing for you. So Yaya Bello was thinking that Tinubu uh, will give him soft landing or Tinubu will, you know, reach out to EFCC to allow him to rest. He was surprised when EFCC yesterday morning visited his Abuja house, probably when he was about to eat his breakfast because it was as early as 9.30 in the morning. So that was when he now picked his call, trying to call Tinubu, trying to call, reach out to some people, you understand, that think they will give him cover up or they will give him cover. And he now had to call uh, Usman Ododo, you understand, the incumbent governor, to come to his rescue. And Usman Ododo come to, came to his rescue because of immunity. He has been in the uh, uh, state house, as in government house in Lokoja. You understand? That is where he has been. Even there was an exclusive report that... Uh, he left his phone in local jazz so that EFC will not be able to track him. He was using the phone of his aide. Not knowing that EFC is tracking the phone of that his aide. That was how they tracked him to that is Abuja house. You understand? So now that the general of federation is calling, submit yourself. What about Fayoshe? Former Kitty State Governor. He came there with an insignia on his t-shirt. EFCC, I am here. He submitted himself. He went there with his own mattress and his own pillow. I've forgotten. I think he, he took uh, uh, his stove, his stove and plate. He went there fully prepared and ready. Is it not the same fire share that is uh, working as a free man? What about uh, Odjus Okalu? He was also a probe. Odjus Okalu served. He was in prison for months. At the end of the day, he said, free man. So going to prison, prison is not a death sentence. What is he afraid of? Is he afraid of going to prison? Yes. If you commit the crime, you, you have to be ready to save the time. 
He who commit a crime be ready to save the time. So why is he running? At the end of the day, EFCC will still arrest him. I trust the way Nigerian security agencies work. At the end of the day, EFCC will, they will involve the DSS. So there is no point of uh, Yaya Bello running, uh, you know, wh why is he even running? There is no soft landing again for him. The time for soft landing is over. He should realize that the earlier for him, the better. even if he, he, he choose to, you know, leave Nigeria to land border in one, in one way or the other, they will see you, I trust Nigerian government. You understand? So Attorney General of Federation has called on the Ayabello to submit himself. Let him submit himself for proof. If he feels that he's innocent, it is not going to court, uh, getting court order to set aside uh, your arrest warrant. What are you setting aside? Go and defend yourself. All right, that is the latest I have for you. See you guys in another update.